okay so I will do another challenge mm -hmm. maybe I will make 25 minutes challenge I will do this paper um, 0580 paper 21 May June 2022 I will start from the bottom not from the top from the bottom okay okay so I will stop start the stopwatch okay the line y is equal to x plus one this one will be a straight line intersect the graph of y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 11 at the points a and b okay so actually the points a and b should be matched to this both equation yeah the linear equation and quadratic equation should be the same find the coordinates of a and the coordinates of b you must show all your working okay the concept is a is the coordinate is a no coordinate b is a no coordinate which is all the coordinates should match in both equation right so i have y is equal to x plus one y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 11 so let's do the substitution 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 right substitution i think it's correct okay uh y i will uh, replace the y over here with this so x plus one is equal to x square minus 3x minus 11 and then I will put everything on the left so it will be like 0 is equal to x square minus 3x directly I group the similar terms minus x minus 11 minus 1 is it correct yes so I will have x square minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0 and then factorize right it become x minus 6 and then x plus 2 is equal to 0 how i find the number well uh, i need to find two numbers if i multiply them it will be equal to this coefficient with this which is the one is negative 12 and then when you plus it it will be equal to this okay and then after what uh, i will write it x minus 6 is equal to 0 which is x will be equal to 6 and then is here x plus 2 is equal to 0 then x is equal to negative 2 but wait <laughs> to make a coordinate uh, x is not enough you also need to have the y so just use one of them one of the equation to produce the y well for sure we will use the y is equal to x plus one right <laughs> it's the simplest one so y is equal to x plus one when the x is six then the y will be six plus one which is this one will be seven and then when x is negative 2 then y is equal to negative 2 plus 1 which is that one will be negative 1 so basically the answer will be the first one is x 6 comma 7 and then after that negative 2 uh, comma negative 1 for the b okay we go to the next one this one need like four four minutes okay so uh number 26 this one the diagram show a triangle oab yeah you can see here this one is oab and parallelogram oalk the position factor of a 
is A. So uh, the position factor means um, the the factor from the A to, to A, yeah? from the origin, I think. And the position factor of B is B. So from O to B is B. And then K is a point of AB over here. So that AK is uh, AK to KB is 1 to 2. Okay, ratio. Right? It's a ratio. Find the position factor of L in terms of A and B. Where is the position factor of L? Okay, to make it clear, I will draw it. It will be here, guys. Wait, yeah. Ah, that's the one that is being questioned. The position factor of L. Okay, in terms of A and B. Interesting. Give your answer in the simplest form. Okay. So, uh, there are several things that you know, uh, you, that you need to know on the factor about the addition and subtraction. Um, for the addition, if, uh, for the factor, yeah, it, it will look like this. Uh, for example, this one is A, B, and then this one is C. Then if this one is A, this one is B, then this one will be A plus B. That's the one that I know. So look on the direction here. It's like uh, you have two routes to go to the C from A. <laughs> okay. The first one is like A plus B. And then after that, directly A plus B. So there are two ways to go to the C from A. So that one is the factor yeah, for addition. Uh, you need to find like two ways to reach a point. There is another one. Um, it will be the the what the subtraction. If it's subtraction, uh, it's a little bit contra uh, contra uh, opposite to this to the addition, of course. It's opposite, right? It would be something like this. Okay. Why it looks like that? Um, actually, the difference is only on the B, right? If this one is A, the B, right? Look, usually it will be this. Now, this one is the opposite one. If it's the opposite one, this one is negative B. So, that's why here will be A minus B. Okay, that one is subtraction. And then the other one that you need to know, yeah. Um, one more before I do these questions. If um, this one is A, this one is B, then for sure this one will be A plus B. Like that. Okay? This one is the parallelogram rules, I think. So the leg of this one with this one the same, this one with this one the same. Yeah, you can do like that one also. Par parallelogram rules. Now, by knowing all of this, then we will be able to solve this problem. This one will be quite long. <laughs> it's fine. It's not quite real. It's already how many minutes? How many minutes now? Oh. My stopwatch is dying. Okay, the battery is off. <laughs> okay, no stopwatch anymore. Okay, it's fine. Give your answer in its simplest form. Okay, so this one, this one will be A, uh, this one is B. Then I will say that um, I will uh, deal with uh, subtraction, right? Yeah. Um, if I make 
take uh, this one the arrow because this one is a factor uh, yep the, uh, I make an arrow like this one basically when I add this one the OA OB yeah if I add like OB um, plus I will do like this one OB plus BA then it will be equal to OA correct so OB will be B BA I don't know then after that OA I know it will be A so basically BA will be A minus B now if I know BA is AB then I will know what will be the BK what will be the uh, what will be the BK and what will be the KA right BK uh, this remember that BK uh, to uh, KA will be 2 to 1 right uh, 2 to 1 sorry 2 to 1 so BK it will be BK it will be what 2 over 3 A minus B and then after that KA it will be 1 over 3 A minus B until okay so we know that now after that to get the OL OL is like the diagonal of the parallelogram, right? So our job is to find what is OK and also OA, right? And then to get the OL, I just add the OK with o OA. OA I know, but OK I don't. Okay? So I will do like this. Um, because the direction should go like this, I need to find like this name. What does it look like? This one is a subtraction, right? Between the factor. Correct? Um, so, um, it will be... Let's see. This one is the, the opposite one. Because actually, the B here, it should go like this one. Like positive, right? So, this one is negative. So, I will say, okay minus OB minus OB wait let me think OK minus OB is equal to BK okay because um, if addition, the B should go to this direction, right? But this one is the opposite one. So, uh, minus OB. And then plus OK, right? Is equal to BK. Okay. I think it's correct. So, OK will be... I don't know. The OB is negative B. And then BK, it will be 1, uh, no, 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 one, 2 over 3, wait, 2 over 3 A minus B, that, that's the BK. So, OK will be 2, I will expand directly, uh, minus uh, 2 over 3 B plus B, which is plus B, it will be, 3 over 3B, right? So basically, OK will be 2 over 3A minus, minus or plus, plus, yeah, plus 1 over 3B. Yeah, and if I simplify it, it become 1 over 3 to A plus B. OK. Now to get the L, yeah, to get the L, it means I need to add 
द ओके विथ द ओ ए विच इज ओके वु बी टू ओवर थ्री ए प्लस वन ओवर थ्री बी एंड देन ओ ए वु बी ए विच इज द वन वु बी थ्री ओवर थ्री ए राइट वन ए इज थ्री ओवर थ्री सो द रिजल्ट वु बी फाइव ओवर थ्री ए प्लस वन ओवर थ्री बी सो यू पुट इट हियर द एंसर ओके so that's how to deal with the factor okay then and then after that i go to the proportion proportion yeah if it's proportion then proportional there's a word proportional meaning this one is a direct proportional so there will be a uh, dependent independent yeah Dep uh, independent I always name it y independent eh independent is x and then dependent it will be y which one is the dependent one here the w because the w the value of w depend on the value of the y right so um I will put it here is w for the dependent and then for the independent will be the square root of y so i will put it like y now uh y is equal uh, y is inversely proportional to x wow y is equal okay so i have another table here this one is the proportional this one is direct proportional right wow 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 double okay uh again this one is the the independent this one is the dependent which is it says that y is inversely proportional to x oh okay that's already correct <laughs> and then after that uh when x is equal to four then the y is 16 okay this one is interesting 4 16 hmm okay so in here the constant will be k is equal to y times x so 16 times 4 is 64 so the formula would be y is equal to 64 per x Hmm. And then in here square root of y in terms of x. Okay, we try first. The y 16 so square root of 16 it will be what? Square root of 16 is 4 and then the w is 8. and you know like k will be y over x so k will be 8 divided by 4 uh, it will be equal to 2 so the formula will be y is equal to 2x and we replace uh, y is equal to 2x and then the y will be w 2 and then uh, like this one hmm now i know <laughs> okay so after that we combine it oh this one is very interesting though we combine it because we need to find the w in the term of x right right now there is no x mm hmm the x is over here but we know like the y is 64 uh, over x right so we combine it uh, become what w to square root of 64 x <laughs> so the uh, w will be 2 64 
64 times 1 over x 64 uh wait it's square right so w will be uh 16 ah like that like that Okay, the, after that, this one. A cuboid measures 24 centimeter, 12 centimeter by 8 centimeter. Calculate the length of a diagonal of a cuboid. Okay, cuboid, I have like this. This one 12, 24, 12, and 8. The diagonal, eh? But then I need to know this one first, right? And then I, I will get the diagonal. Using the Pythagoras. So first we find the Pythagoras of this one to this one, yeah? Diagonal at the base. Diagonal on the base. It will be c square plus a uh, is equal to a square plus b square, and then c is equal to square root of 24 square plus 12 square, like that one. And I don't know what is the result. Wait. 24 square uh, plus 12 square equal, and then square root answer is 26. Point eighty three. I will make it for significant figure first because at the end I will round it to three significant figure, and then after that I will go to the eight to get the diagonal. Uh, no, actually I don't have to do this. I just realized this. I just keep it c square c square is equal to 24 square plus 12 square and then 24 square plus 12 square as far as i know just now is 720 yeah 720 i keep it that way because later on it will be used for the next pythagoras and then after that i have another one so again using the pythagoras so the diagonal square it will be equal to wait do i need to do that no i don't have to do it so it will be 8 square plus 720 yeah so it will be 64 plus 720 and then the diagonal will be square root of 784 which is square root of 784 it will be equal to 28 okay okay the next one um okay we will do it until where i don't know okay this one Come on, make it bigger. Okay, x squared plus 8x plus 10x minus plus p uh, in bracket square plus q. Okay. If you say remember, if I have like x plus 2 in uh, being square, that one would be x squared plus 2, 4x plus 4 yeah. That's how to expand, kan? So now we will look here. Okay, this thing, for sure, it will come from this right if this one being square it means become x square right 
um, x plus p uh, square it will be equal to x square plus 2px plus p square right which is this one should be equal to this correct so we can say that hmm two times what so it become a four oh okay so for sure it will be x plus four square correct so the p will be four now you expand it x plus 8x plus 16 right and it should be plus 10 is it correct <laughs> that one is plus 10 or what okay plus 10 yeah too many too big the number so the q will reduce this one become about minus 6 so this one minus 6 okay Kalau minus 6 become 10 right okay and then uh, x square plus 8x uh, plus 10 is equal to 30 solve it okay again right hand side make it 0 x square plus 8x plus 10 minus 30 is equal to 0 and then x square plus 8x minus 20 is equal to 0 what um five times four, ten ten with two yeah ten with two ini so the positive one is ten and this one is negative two is equal to zero so x is equal to negative ten x is equal to two negative two two ten and two okay okay uh Maybe after this we're done. Simplify fully this one. 216. Da, 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 da. Okay. The first thing. If I have like A uh, times B. And to the power of 2 for example. Meaning this one is A to the power of 2. And B to the power of 2. Okay. Eh? How I know that? Uh, well, it is AB being square. Meaning AB times AB. Which is at the end become A square plus B square. Right? Yeah, sometimes things doesn't need to be memorized. Just need to understand, right? So that's how. So in here, I will say that this one, that means 216, 2 over 3. Um, and then after that, Y. And this one, you can multiply it. Mm, uh, crossing this one will be 72 72 times 2 it will be 114 correct ah, this one is the challenge I think 216 is uh, it can come from 2 to the power of something so I will write log 216 divided by log 2 I just want to check is it correct no is it 4 216 I don't know log 216 divided by log 4 no 6 <laughs> log 216 divided by log 6 yes 6 to the power of 3 okay so 6 to the power of 3 if you multiply it become 6 to the power of 2 y to the power of 144 and i need to simplify it yeah it become 36 y to the power of 144 okay one more factorize this okay um, 1 minus Q, no, I cannot do anything. This one, I can take the negative A. So it will be negative A, 1, uh, 1, 1 minus Q, right? This one is minus A, this one become plus AQ, right? So I can, can you see like this? Nah. So it will be what? 1 minus Q the same factor you take it out and the remaining one will be 1 minus A so that's the answer 
Okay. One more. This one. You want? Okay, 20. Uh, this one, the diagram shows the speed time graph for 24 seconds of a car journey. Calculate the deceleration of the car in the final 8 seconds. So again, if it's about acceleration and deceleration, using this diagram, it means we are talking about the gradient, guys. Yeah, it's about the gradient. So we will look. Okay, the gradient is uh, the gradient, yes. Yeah? yeah. So the gradient will be what the rise divided by the run. The rise, this one, this one is the rise divided by the run. What is the difference? Yeah. Okay. This one from zero, right? Uh, this one is like um, uh, uh, parallel. Okay. This one is like parallel to not parallel, but it's like it's available at the side of the zero, right? This one here zero and here is 12 so basically the rise it will be 12 right and then after that uh the the run well between 16 and 24 it will be what 16 to 24 it will be uh six i, I, I don't eight right so uh, the gradient will be rise over run uh, so it will be equal to 12 over 8 which is it will give you what um, if i simplify it become divided by 4 right 3 over 2 so it will be 1 or uh, 1.5 okay and then after that about the total distance uh traveled during the 24 seconds so if you're using a graph like this one, just remember total distance is about finding the area of this object, which is this one will be the rectangle and also the triangle. So it's like a compound shape. Okay, you're trying to find the area of the compound shape. First is the uh, rectangle, which is the, the rectangle part, right? It will be uh, 16 for uh, length. I can write length times width first. So the length will be 16. And the width, well, that's the rise, so 12. So 16, uh, I don't know, 16 times 12 is 160 plus 24, 184. Eh, no, 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 no. 16, 160. 160 plus 32 192 yeah 192 16 160 yeah 192 yeah and then after that for the triangle it will be um, um what base times height divided by 2 right so 8 times 12 divided by 2 which is that one will be i just cross this one to zero now so for what i add so the the total of the distance will be 192 plus 48 which is that one will be equal to 0 1 5 4 eh, right 0 1 5 4 2 240 guys okay i think that's all for today